Welcome back to another episode of Roll for Coffee, where we let the dice and our little chip friend decide our coffee. Today's episode is called Midnight Munchies and features a couple new items for the show. Now let's sit back, relax, and let's get into it. First off, we're going to figure out if it's going to be hot or ice today. Looks like it's going to be hot. The coffee we're going to be using today is from Black Acres Roastery. A brand new coffee to me, and you can find it at your local Trader Joe's. Next up, we got to roll for our coffee style. Looks like four. Cereal. Everybody loves a hot cereal, especially Ghost Marshmallow. The cereal is packed with protein and is sure to set your day up right. Let's make sure to pour a good healthy amount right into our bowl. Moving right along, we gotta figure out what our brewing method's gonna be. That would be a nine. If you look closely, it's a nine, and that's mocha pot. Let's get that mocha pot going. We'll get our beans into our cup, spritz it with water, shake it up, put it in our grinder, then grind it up. Then we get those grinds into our mocha pot, level it off, screw on the top, and put it on the stove on low heat. And then enjoy the beautiful sounds of coffee. Then we'll be rolling for our milk. Wonder what it could be. That would be a protein shake. That protein shake is going to be Good Night by Premier Protein Cozy Coco. We'll make that up real quick and then warm it up later. Next up, let's roll for our flavor. That would be a six, lavender syrup. And wouldn't you know what our lavender syrup is gonna be? Lavender, sugar-free by Tarani. With the cozy cocoa and the lavender, this is gonna put me right to sleep. And it seems to be a good time to add our coffee. Next up, let's roll for our wild magic. That's gonna be one honey mustard. We're gonna be using Deutsch Kuka Bavarian Sweet Mustard for our honey mustard today, found over at Aldi. We're gonna put a nice plop of that right on our cereal. And 17, applesauce. Our applesauce is gonna be Lunch Buddies Cinnamon Applesauce. Let's crack it open and get it in our cereal. Lastly, let's roll for our toppings. Looks like two pickles. And those pickles are gonna be great gherkins, kosher dill baby holes. And we're gonna put two right on top of our cereal. Let's try this out. You didn't think I forget to add the milk to it, did you? I just didn't want it to get soggy. Get all that milk right on top of there. So this can only be called the Midnight Munchies. And I have no clue how this is all gonna work. The mustard and everything else, this could be a catastrophe. Cheers. Forgot about my pickle. Pickle actually saves it. The flavor overall isn't horrible, which is the most surprising part. I thought the mustard was gonna absolutely ruin this. The hot cocoa protein powder is actually delicious, and the cereal is just kind of sweet and pleasant. I can't believe I'm still eating this. The pickle is so interesting in this. I wish I had picked a smaller pickle. This is everything you want in a cereal. High protein, flavorful, chocolatey, and with a nice pickle finish. You almost don't taste the lavender at all. It's just chocolate, and truthfully, the, the mustard, I think, gives it a nice floral flavor, which is impressive because it's not a lavender flavor. I think it's the mustard seed that's coming through, but it's not unpleasant. It works with the chocolate surprisingly well, obviously, or else I wouldn't still be eating this. This was such a surprise, and I can't even believe it. And if you like this one, just remember to join us next week for Roll for Coffee.